Okay, you guys have to tell us what you're doing because you're just gonna speed right through it and then it's gonna be over. So this is, is this the height of the seat, Corey? 18 inches? This is 17 and a quarter. We just realized the window is not level. It's a quarter of an inch off. So we're gonna make sure that window seat is level. Not level with the window, but level. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this teamwork. This tight quarters. Corey, is the number one tip a level? Absolutely. <laughs> I think it has to be purple. Just like it has to be purple. Oh, purple okay. level. Yeah, oh, no, no, he just added sorry. that center spot, That's but he, I watched him. He really used that level on there. Frame spill, and now he's going to skin it. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. I just made that one. They want me to mention they're amateurs, okay? So yes. we're not professionals. We're just trying to do a room for this guy. This is a cutting guide. A cutting guide. Okay, that's cool. So it's gonna help you cut uh, with a mitered mind. saw, right? That's a mitered saw, we uh, know. This is a circular saw. Oh, circular so saw. So he made a table, right? To do the sawing, so he doesn't cut through the table. And then I set my guide an inch and a half back because this is the distance between my saw oh, edge smart. and my blade. So I'm actually gonna cut This is here. a what kind of saw? This is a circular saw. Circular saw, you can rent at Lowe's. You could probably get this cutting guide too. Yeah, I bought this cutting guide at Lowe's. Oh, cool. Share our fails and our successes, uh, right? Man, yeah, okay. So he didn't think about the thickness of the carpet. carpet. So it's a little high right here. So are you gonna cut it again? Yeah, I'm just gonna have to. Oh, that's it smart. Again. Just trace it with a pencil. <laughs> you are. <laughs> yeah, you just need to take your shirt off. Then you'll be real famous, Blaine. Yeah. <laughs> so we put the, the skin, the MDF on <laughs> each side of the window seat. <laughs> Now we're building a bookcase for either side of the window. See, not we, I shouldn't say we, they are building a bookcase. Of course. <laughs> Corey's, you're, you're hustling. So you used glue and then nail guns to attach it. And then it puts these screws right in through the frame. Since mm -hmm. I don't have one of those, I'm gonna drill a hole here and put a grabber screw from the outside and countersink it and then we'll just spackle over the top of that. Whoa, that was a lot of hard Sorry. work. Spackle, yeah. this is looking so good, oh my goodness. So you're just gluing. So then to connect these two, did you just do glue or did you uh, use glue, glue and nails? Yeah. Glue and nails. Wow. It's coming out a little bit. That was good. You make this look so easy just to build a bookcase. <laughs> this can be done by yourself in an hour. <laughs> Anyone can do it. Realistic. <laughs> He's going to pre-drill a hole. How fast can you do this? Can you do it in 15 seconds? And then we're going to drill a hole for countersink. And then we're just going to drill it. Now the screw. Easy, easy as spackle. pie. Just like that. Then we'll spackle it. And then spackle and skin. Unless it's skinned already. <laughs> <laughs> you drill that first for white. Just otherwise, I could split this out. Okay. And then what's the bigger one? And then the one bigger for? one's just so that the, the head of the screw sits below the surface. Oh, clever. Did you know that, Blaine? Sure did. So then he's doing a set shelf in the middle so it doesn't bow out. And then he's going to make the rest adjustable. That will be fun to see how you do that. Oh, man. That's how you want to set it, Cor. Oh. <gasps> Ta da! Oh, my goodness, Corey. That took you like literally 30 minutes. Yay. Round of applause, everyone. <laughs> that looks amazing. Another bookcase going in. Watch the wallpaper. Oh, we nicked it. 
Hello. Beep. Beep. <laughs> this one has got the molding on. No, Blaine, you're just fine. And see, this one doesn't have the molding, but notice he didn't go all the way to the ceiling, which was smart, or it'd be tight to get it in there. So they're both going to look. Attaching the bookcase to the wall. We don't want any incidents because Finn would climb that bookcase, you know? <laughs> so your baby boy might Probably climb the bookcase. <laughs> and they're just caulking. Is this your professional sketch? Yeah. <laughs> you want to plug that? <laughs> it is. Oh, so we already did it? Great. <laughs> <laughs> we are storing it. So he's making the top now. See, it's going to be tricky because it notches out. So we're trying to get it to open. See, it lifted up, Kevin. So if you have this little jig out, it won't open. So we're gonna make this right here permanent, and then that part will open up with the piano hinge. We're almost done for the day. Well, not these two. These two, they're gonna be up priming this bookcase and window seat. But they added the molding to the front of the bookcase that they saved that was behind there. And did a done. good job. He painted. Did you guys? How late were you up? Not too late. Just don't look close. <laughs> That's fair. We look so good. It's hard to see. Kevin's installing a new light. The dad's here. And then every two inches made a mark. So this is going to be his template for the bookcase for the adjustable oh, shelves. Yes. <laughs> so before we were interrupted he made this guide so he's gonna take this upstairs and put it in the bookcase and he's gonna go through and drill all these holes so when he gets upstairs he just has to drill the holes does that make sense we'll show him. okay now we're upstairs and see he put it tape on his drill so he knows he won't drill um whoops too deep on that bookcase and look how fancy this is this little template see what he's doing does that make sense okay see how he wrote on the bottom bottom <laughs> now he's down. gonna flip it over and do, and do the other side so now they're just straight across and it's just speedy i was thinking this is gonna take you forever nope i mean it's, it's so you can buy one of these um already made but then it's probably hard to get it the right height right they're adjustable but okay so you could get it at lowe's but this was cost him nothing just to make real quick so he made all the shelves, and then we're gonna prime and paint them down here. So what did you do? Just glue a piece of wood to the front, yep. and then nail nail gun it. An inch and a half inch or an inch and a half face. And then you used your nail gun too, right? Yep. I need to work on this window seat. I got this um, one inch foam actually just at Walmart, and I am going. I bought two of them so I could double it up, so it's a little thicker. This is I found the cheapest way to do it quickly. And I'm going to go get are installing a lock on the window, vinyl window lock. Picked that up at Lowe's this morning, just so they can open it barely, um, just to let some air in. Super sunny. So after I went to Lowe's, I stopped at a secondhand shop, and I got this for like a dollar, a huge thing of blocks, a ton of books for the bookcase. I think I'll put the blocks in these jars I got at Goodwill, so, and a bunch of plants from Lowe's. back. We got this fabric for the window seat. It's kind of got a little batting to make it a little thicker. And then we have all the kids helping us. They're taking all the stickers off the box. Here it is. I am obsessed with this window seat. And I love how the Roman shade ties in with this ottoman. You notice that, Cammy? Totally All these colors are kind of <laughs> repeated. And the blacks, I'm going to have to come back tomorrow and take pictures. But I wanted to show you the bookcase details. So notice how I tried to repeat a lot of the things so it doesn't feel busy. So it's pretty <laughs> symmetrical. I can't really back up and show you it all. That I call my own.